Thank you. Thank you, Tane. Uh, so before I um, begin my uh, presentation, I want to uh, say uh, thanks to uh, Tapak Mosi and um, JCU and uh, Partners uh, uh, SPC program for um, making this uh, day uh, possible. Now I'm standing here in front of you guys. Uh, especially um, Sally, uh, thank you for your hard work. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be here. Yeah. So, good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Uh, thank you for joining uh, me today. Uh, my name is Osiro Lori. <clears throat> I am here to present the uh, findings from our study on comparisons on, on of, uh, different ages collections methods for assessment of insecticide susceptibility status of Aegis subgenius that Maya in Bakong, Koro, Palau. This presentation is a part of the Bakmosi Operational Research Grant Progress Report. <clears throat> Before we delve into the details, let me give you a brief overview of uh, the studies, backgrounds, and objectives. Hi. The, so the primary objectives of our study was to compare different methods of collecting anus mosquito to assess their susceptibility to insecticide. This study was conducted in Koror State, Palau, an area of significant concern for mosquito-borne diseases. The importance of this uh, research cannot be overstated Say it as it directly impacts our ability to control mosquito populations and mitigate the spread of diseases like dengue and Zika. <clears throat> so our mosquito collection for the OV traps was carried out during three one-week periods. August 21st, uh, 25th to September 1st, September 6th to September 13th, uh, September 21st to September 28th. Yeah. Activities, basically we're using the uh, big, big jet, cat, gravit, uh, um, ADC uh, traps, and um, OV, o OV traps. The uh, OV cups uh, traps. So this this collection periods allows us to gather data across different weeks to ensure robustness of yeah, in, in, in our findings. We selected three sites. Excuse me, sorry. We selected three sites. Uh, distinct sites for our collections to represent a variety of environment. Uh, basically, we have um, Malagal Islands, uh, Seaport, Nervet, Hamlet, households in residence, Mewns, Hamlets, households, uh, and office. At each site, we deployed five OV cups and one modified PG cat trap. Uh, sorry. Yeah, sure. So for our OB trap, we use a 300 ml black plastic cups uh, and a modified VG again traps. These traps were filled with hay infusion water, a method known to attract mosquitoes due to its organic content. Uh, the traps were strategically placed in shade, shaded and protected locations to optimize mosquito capture, ensuring that environment factors did not screw our results. If. 
uh, egg handling and rearing. Once collected, the mosquito eggs were transported to our laboratory in the rearing room, which maintained condition at 27 plus 2 degrees Celsius and 75 plus 5 percent relative humidity with a 10, 14 10 light, light dark cycle. The eggs were dried, stored, and later hatched under controlled conditions. This precise environment was crucial for viability and development of the mosquito larvae. For our CDC bottle bioassay, to assess insecticide susceptibility, we use the CDC bottle bioassay. Uh, this involves coating the glass bottles with specific insecticide, specifically bifenthrin, deltametrin, and malathion. Mosquitoes were introduced into these coated bottles, and their mortality rates were observed and recorded. The mortality rates allow us to determine the susceptibilities of the mosquito populations to these insecticides. So I'll just uh, choose of our uh, insect design. So. so for our results and discussions, we successfully collected three species of Aedes mosquitoes, specifically Aedes aegypti, Aedes henseli, and Aedes cutularis, with a total of 889 mosquitoes. However, we encountered a challenge with Aedes cutularis as we had fewer than 100 surviving adults, which was insufficient for a conclusive bioassay. Biosay findings, despite the limitations with Aedes cutularis, we proceeded with testing 250 Aedes aegypti from Malakal and Norbet and 250 Aedes henseli from Munes. The results were quite striking. All tested mosquito shows 100% mortality with 15 minutes when exposed to insecticides, specifically again, pyphentrin, deltametrin, and melatine. This high level of mortality in, in, indicates that all the mosquito strains we tested are highly susceptible to these insecticides. For our conclusion and discussions, our study faced significant challenges, particularly in collecting and maintaining adequate numbers of specimens from the larval survey. This limitation prevented us from conducting a comprehensive assessment of insecticide resistance in any mosquitoes from these collections. Therefore, the data presented here is solely derived from the collections made through OV trap surveying. The implications of our findings, the results of our study are encouraging as they suggested that the current insecticides are highly effective against the Aedes mosquito populations in Koror Palau. This critical information for public health officials and vector control programs, however, it is important to continue monitoring these populations for any signs of emerging resistance. Future research directions. Moving forward, we recommend expanding the study to include more collection sites and longer collection periods. Additionally, incorporating more advanced molecular turning uh, techniques could provide deeper insights into genetic basis of insecticide resistance. For our final thoughts, in conclusion, despite some limitations, our study provides valuable insights into the effectiveness of different Aedes collections methods and confirm the susceptibility of Aedes aegypti and Aedes henseli to commonly use insecticides in Koror Palau. These findings are crucial for developing effective mosquito control strategies and managing insecticide resistance. Thank you. 
So lang, I am very happy to take questions back home and then click me your email, I will email you back. <laughs> <laughs>